This is a video uh, in response to a comment I received on one of my previous videos. Uh, someone asked me, actually as a stand-up philosopher, uh, Richard O'Brien, and he asked me, how do you do it? How do you keep coming up with these solutions? I actually do it kind of a funny way, and I'm going to flesh it out in this video. First, I get a rough, note that word, it's important, it is almost essential, rough idea of a problem. Uh, salinity in the ground, uh, America's healthcare crisis, uh, and a few other things. Now, what I then do is try and get a rough overview. See all the people that contribute to it. Not get all the details, not get all the reasoning. Just get most of it. You'll understand why in a second. Then, then, I uh, get in there and I work backwards. I start with the goal. The goal is a situation where people feel uh, well rested and it's a holistic wellness uh, that comes from the res resolution of an issue and the stability uh, that allows people to get onto tackling other issues. That's the goal. Then I work backwards. Well, to get this goal, you'll need this, this, and this, you know, whatever these things are. I'm going to use the example of uh, America's healthcare uh, situation. I created a, I drafted a proposal for a solution to that. Uh, Happy Cabby was nice enough to ask me, isn't this just like a community-owned HMO? I admit I had to look up what an HMO was, however, uh, it seemed to fit the bill. So, uh, in, in a, a sense, yes, however, it was heavily modified, and it's only the key differences you need to change. Anyway, that's not the point. I started with uh, the solution of people feeling well enough uh, that their future healthcare costs would go down because their uh, immediate medical costs um, or their immediate medical needs uh, were truncated and not truncated they were met and well seen to before ahead of time so to do that you'd need I knew that you'd need uh, decent diagnostics and that is in the free market so that can be found uh, you'd need uh, a real, and you'd need certain expertise as far as staff and organization uh, go, as well as treatment. And I knew that was in the free market too. And then you'd need, uh, then you'd need to actually have direct incentive to actually do well and give long-term health benefits uh, in a way to, that reduces cost. So then I just found the things that were blocking them and I found certain structures and rules that must not be broken that once implemented would permanently block some of the problems that have occurred in the past from reoccurring with the system. Then you go the next step down which is uh, finding a way to convince people uh, to implement it and to convince them that it's a good change uh, to implement. So that's the whole process, starting with the goal, going with the needs, and then going with the problems. Because most people start here as disempowered little me. They don't have a plan. They can only see the problems. And the goal seems far off and distant. It's not. It really isn't. As long as you understand the principles, the whole picture of the end result, and actually even all of that is secondary to knowing how the end result will feel for the individual that you want to help. You've got to have not an image, you've got to have a feeling that you want to grasp. You've got to chase that feeling like the song says. So, you know, it's... Let me give you a second example. Uh, you take my idea of uh, stakeholder-only voting. I was very proud of that. 
this came from me seeing uh, people imposing laws on others when the people who wrote that law probably didn't understand uh, the situation very well and certainly didn't build enough flexibility into a law uh, to allow for very common conditions that did come up. So with that one, you do the same thing again you start, you don't ever tackle the problems direct on. You start with the end goal. How's it going to feel? Well, there's a happy, productive, uh, future-secured fisherman, or fisher person, however you want to put it, sailing his boat and doing fishing, as they want to do. How do you get that? Well, you're going to need a boat, you're going to need uh, financing to make sure he can get his materials, and you're going to need a solid supply of fish. So, how do you get that? Okay, so what's in the way of just getting those things? So, regular supply of fish, which is where I came up with my idea of leaving the seas fallow for a year or two. A uh, bridging bit of finance, because, hey, if you leave the seas fallow, it's going to um, help everything to regenerate, which is good for business. So, it's basically a surefire sure bet um, that it's going to pay off. And you've got a uh, case of the market's demands. As much as I don't like to do it, I thought about uh, using a governmental control on the supply of fish and just narrowing it down. However, you uh, basically stem the costs of everything else by reducing the fishing licenses down and compensating anyone who can't, uh, who doesn't qual or doesn't either qualify, or basically. Uh, doesn't doesn't uh, get allocated one, so you meet people halfway. Anyway, what you basically have then is uh, pitching this idea to people, uh, showing them that it's in their financial best interests, and then you bring it down to the individual, like you at home watching this uh, YouTube video or wherever you're watching it, and basically uh, saying to people, okay, you want to. You want to solve a problem and not have to have people whinging at you about it? Here's how you, here's how you go about it, and here's why. So, it's really not a case of uh, getting people to think up all the answers themselves. You just have to go backwards. I mean, this world is backwards. It says, you're an individual. You need to think of a game plan. Well, I don't have a game plan. Well, then you just consider the problems. Oh, they all look insurmountable. And it never, never, never shows you the end goal in terms of how you feel. It shows it how you'll see it, yet that means that the government can show you something that looks good, yet is a toxic mimic. It's got to start with the heart. And it's got to go backwards. And when it hit, by the time it hits you, you personally, You've got your solution. It's already ready to go. You just have to bring it into reality. Anyway. I'm Ozzy Griffin, and uh, that's basically how I do most of my solutions videos. I certainly hope it's given everyone else out there some food for thought. Anyway, have a good one.